do a minute and 30 seconds, like I kind of lost track of time. So starting on the bottom arch now. This is the last of our, uh, before we, this is the, uh, an event. <laughs> no, just kidding, guys. <laughs> I'm just being silly. This starts tomorrow. but I'm not. I'm going to bed after this. I just took a Benadryl. I have a energy, kind of like not real energy, you know, like when you have caffeine energy, kind of like that. I feel like I've had a cup of coffee, but I'm still tired.
some of the teeth, they, they really accumulate food in between certain ones. I, we all have those teeth, you know? I just had dinner beforehand, so. But what's amazing is that if you just, if you don't floss, imagine if I just brush, right? And I'm thinking, oh, my mouth's clean, I'm going to bed. I don't know if you just saw that big wad of like, what would it be? Cause like, what did I eat? I ate chicken tonight. Chicken that I just pulled out from between my teeth. Like your mouth is not clean. Like just cause you brushed, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's why you lose teeth. Even if you brush your teeth, people have, end up getting filling, 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 crown, you know, and then the tooth's gone. You know what I mean? That's if you can afford to get crowns, if you have dental insurance and stuff like that, you know? One thing that's very, very cool about dentistry is that it's very, very big, unlike, well, I mean, now it's more happening with, with medicine too. You know, with, with, with if, we, if we break it up into dental and medical, is that dentistry is very, very much focused on preventative medicine, preventative dentistry. You know what I mean? Like flossing and oral hygiene. But a lot. I mean, I growing up didn't like a lot of people did not listen. You know, I, I heard it, but like, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't get these good habits enforced, like as a child, it's kind of hard to pick them up later. But I did, you know what I mean? And you can too, you know, maybe you already, I'm not assuming that you don't floss already. I don't, you know, thank you for watching my video be just doing my teeth. I usually don't talk in these videos, so <laughs> they're not very entertaining. Um, I do these for me though, to make sure I do it because what happened is I slacked off for a while. I've been ill and I slacked off and there was like a week. There were sometimes like a week where I would brush my teeth and I usually am this good about it. So I'm like, I gotta do something. And so I started doing videos to get myself back on track. And it works like a charm because now, <laughs> you know what I mean? Now that I started doing it, even on days where I don't feel good, I'm like, I. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not that I wouldn't brush my teeth if no one's looking. It's not, obviously not that because I, if it, you know, I wouldn't have started doing the video. So that was the case if I gave a shit about that. You know what I mean? It was kind of like, um, but yeah, now, you know, now it has me back on track and it gives me a little bit more oomph when I'm not feeling well to, to do what I need to do. I'll tell you, I love to floss because your teeth, your feet, your teeth really are clean after that, you know? All right, let's put it this way. As clean as you're going to get them without going to an eye genus. You know what I mean? I don't even like to swear because it causes plaque. No, just kidding. <laughs> Dirty language, you know? That's kind of, you know, I've never heard anybody make that joke before. That is kind of funny. That's why I've never heard a dental hygienist swear. Now, maybe because it's a professional office and they shouldn't. I don't know. Maybe it's that or because they have, you know, they're really concerned about oral hygiene. That's it. That's all she wrote. I'm gonna remind you.
I do, as I always do, to brush your teeth, to floss, and to say your prayers especially, and to eat healthily, eat well. Tonight I had um, roast chicken. I left over roast chicken because I made a roast chicken last night. And I had Brussels, steamed Brussels sprouts with some um, olive oil and some Dijon mustard on them. Really good way to have Brussels sprouts. Don't steam your Brussels sprouts for more than five minutes, I heard, believe it or not. And I did that tonight. Pretty damn good, fantastic. I cut them up into to quarters. So you remove the outer layers, <laughs> this said for another video. But remove the outer layers, cut them into quarters, cut that little nub off at the bottom, five minutes. Beautiful, that's how you get the most nutrients out of them, I'm told. I saw a video on YouTube. I forget the guy's name, George somebody, George. I'm, not, I'm, I'm gonna say a name and if it, it's the wrong name, so I'm not gonna say it. All right, everyone, I love you all. Peace and I'll see you in the next video.